Hey everyone, welcome to video number two of the animation formula. Today I'm going to be talking to you about creating characters for your animations. And uh, I'm going to be showing you the process I use for creating characters that will not only be easy to animate, but the wall will also be appealing and will uh, capture your audience's attention. So I'm going to show you the process that I use to do that. But before I do, I just want to share a little story with you that uh, kind of shows you why it's so important that you actually design animator friendly characters and uh, why it's, it's important that you actually go through the steps rather than just jumping in and trying to animate something that's that is in your head. So when I was a kid I used to draw all the time. I was always drawing characters and me and my friends would get together and we would uh, we would draw pictures of like of our characters and we would do kind of do battle with each other right so they would draw a picture of their character kicking the crap out of one of my characters I would draw another one kicking the crap out of one of theirs and we would we just fill up a page with all these characters that were fighting each other and and uh, and we kind of eventually developed our own uh, characters that that we would use in these little imaginary battles that we would create just on paper and uh, one of the characters that I created was this guy right here I call him green alien I designed him I don't even remember when I was you know I was just a kid when I uh, when I created this and uh, basically I uh, I've I've drawn this character as long as I can remember drawing and so a couple years ago I decided that I wanted to animate him so rather than taking my own advice and actually going through and uh, designing the character to be animator friendly and to be appealing and stuff I figured you know, I've been drawing him for years. I know what I know what he's like. I know what he moves like. I know everything there is to know about Green Alien. So, I uh, I just jumped in and started animating, and uh, it took me about 30 minutes to realize that. Actually, it probably took me less time than that, but it it took me almost no time at all to realize I really didn't know anything about this character because although I've been drawing him for years, every time I drew him. I drew him from this perspective. I never drew him from above or below or from the side. The only way I knew how to draw him was like this, which is not good for animation because your character needs to be able to have the freedom to move around and do what you need him to do. If he's restricted to having to be in a 2D, you know, cardboardy pose like this, then you're going to have a really hard time animating him in a way that uh, is appealing to your audience or that even is able to fulfill the storyline that you want to create. So yeah, it didn't take me very long to realize that I, although I was thought I was very familiar with this character and I could pretty much draw him in my sleep, I couldn't animate him. So I had to actually go through and completely rethink what I thought about the character and start at base one and completely design him to be animator friendly which I did and he ended up being one of my favorite characters to animate so I get to continue using this character in my animations just like I did when I was younger and just drawing him so uh, it's very important even if you think you already know what your character looks like or acts like or feels like or if you know everything there is to know about your character you still need to follow the process of creating your characters to be animator friendly and uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you right now. I'm going to walk you through creating character sheets. It's really not that hard, and it's going to save you a lot of time and heartache in the long run, and it's going to make your animations much, much better. So uh, if you want to come over to my desk with me, we can get started, and I'll show you how to create character sheets to create animator-friendly characters for your animations. Okay, so I'm here at my desk, and uh, before I jump into this, uh, I just want to tell you that uh, when you're designing your characters, one of the most important things to keep in mind is that you are drawing 3D characters, not 2D characters. Even though you're drawing them, you need to think of them as 3D objects with mass and volume, not just as uh, lines on a piece of paper. And uh, doing that, if you're able to change your mindset to think of them as an actual 3D object rather than just some lines, your uh, your characters will you'll just naturally draw more animator friendly characters and you'll be forced to design them in a way that you'll be able to animate them okay so I've scanned the character sheet in and I've got it open here in Photoshop and um, as you can see there are three major parts to this character sheet the first is here at the top it's a character rotation the second part is here and it's the characters heads or character expressions and then the third part 
is down here at the bottom and it is the character poses. I like to use these three elements in every one of my character sheets. Uh, sometimes I break this up and I will do a different element on a different sheet. So, uh, so the character sheet would actually be three character sheets, one for the rotation, one for the character expressions, and one for the poses, or several for the poses. But uh, it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, this, is a, this is about the easiest uh, way to do it because obviously it requires us drawing, but uh, I think it gets the job done really well. First part I want to talk to you about is here at the top, and it is the character rotations. As you can see here, well, first of all, I'd like to point out these lines right here. Uh, I think one of the most important uh, aspects of when you're designing your character is to uh, is to design th your character's proportions. And uh, a very a very good way to do that is to split them up into heads. And what I mean by that is that uh, as you can see right here, that is one head length. Then right here, it's two head lengths then three, then four, then five and a half. So this character is five and a half heads tall. And right here you can see that from the top of the head down to the waist is three heads. And uh, basically what this does is it's a quick way for you to reference when you're animating if your character's proportions are right. Uh, for example, an average full-grown human male actually has is about eight heads tall. If you can see right here, this is this is an older character sheet, or it's one that I uh, first started doing uh, when, when I was first trying to create this character model. If you can see right here, the when I, at first I thought that I was going to do him seven heads tall, and that ended up making his body just way too big. And so I cut it down to five and a half, and, uh, and it looked good. I got the feeling I wanted it, so I continued on with... Uh, with five and a half and so uh, we'll go back to the main character sheet here so I recommend that you uh, design your characters proportions based off of how big their head is so that you'll be able to quickly reference while you're animating and see how big their head is and then make sure that their body is the same uh, proportions in comparison to their head continuing on with the uh, character rotation here there are four major poses that uh, you should do in every character rotation as you can see here, we've got a front pose, or a front view, and then we've got a three-quarter view, which is kind of from an angle, and then we've got a profile view, which is directly from the side, and then we've got a rear or back view. So if you're able to draw your character in all three of these views, then you'll be able to draw a full 360 degree rotation of your character, which means that now all of a sudden you've got a 3D character, and if you're, if you're familiar with all four of these poses, you'll have a much easier time animating your character and being able to animate them from any position that you need to. So it's important that when you're designing your character, you actually design them and know how to draw them from every angle. Now, uh, interestingly enough, although it's, it's good and it's really vital that you be able to animate them from every angle, that's, that's kind of an exaggeration because... For example, a very famous cartoon character, Mickey Mouse, was actually not able to be animated from every angle, but you were able to animate him from most angles. There were some angles that they, that Disney just didn't even try to animate him from because it just wouldn't look right. So if there are some angles that uh, your character can't be animated from, that's okay. For example, uh, Mickey Mouse cannot be animated from directly above. They just refrain from ever drawing, animating him from directly above, which is fine, because you don't really need to do that. So if your character has some limitations, it's all right, but you want to try and minimize those limitations as much as possible. So uh, <clears throat> that's about it for the character rotations, really. Just draw them from a front, a three-quarter, and a, a profile, and a rear view, and design your character's proportions based off of how big their head is. From there, I like to go down and draw the characters' heads and draw them doing as many expressions as possible. Part of the problem is, is that, let's take this first expression, for example. That is a really easy, very static expression to draw. But if you don't have practice drawing something like, let's say, 
this one right here, for example, or one of these more involving 3D, you know, three-quarter uh, angles, when it comes time to animate, you're, you're not going to know what to do. You need to actually put some work in and uh, design your, your character's head and know how you're going to draw them from any angle. So not only do we do it with the body and the entire character in the uh, character rotations, but you want to be able to do the same thing with the head. When you're down here in the, the character's head section, you may actually want to do another rotation with front three-quarter profile and rear views of your character's heads and then go on to do your character's expressions. Here I didn't do that because through the expressions I was able to uh, pretty much cover the three-quarter and the front and the side views and obviously the back isn't something that I need to cover because it's just a round circle. He's, it's a very simple character, so I didn't feel like I needed to do a back view, but I covered all the other three. So you can go through and draw your character doing as many expressions as you could possibly imagine him ever having. Once it comes time to actually animate your character portraying an expression, it'll be easy. You'll be able to jump right back to this character sheet and be like, oh yeah, that's how we're going to draw him, or that looks good, or get some ideas for how... Uh, you know all the different ways your character's face can move because a lot of the times you get stuck and or at least I do I will I'll get too complacent and just animate the character's face looking the same all the time and it's really important and your character will just be so much more appealing if his expressions change and dramatically by doing these character expressions in your character sheet you'll get some practice and you'll be able to, to create a full variety of facial expressions for your character before you ever start animating and it will make the animation process a lot easier once you're done with that the next thing I like to do is to just draw your character in different poses. I mean, obviously, you would be drawing your character in poses that describe your character's personality. So, although I don't go and sit down and write out what my character is like, I try to capture some poses that will, uh, or I try to draw some poses that will capture the essence of what my character is. And so, as you can see here, we've got a character wondering, we've got here, uh, Stickman is holding up a sign, which I animate him doing a lot. Uh, here, I tried to make him look like he was licking the glass or whatever, you know, like the camera that the viewer is looking from. Uh, here, Stickman is snickering about something. Uh, this is an idea that I got for uh, Stickman poking something that he was not supposed to, which is an animation I'm working on right now. Uh, Stickman scared, running away. Stickman happy, frolicking, you know, curious Stickman. Uh, conniving Stickman. This is... Uh, Stickman just going for a walk. You know, I try and uh, do as many different poses that will capture what Stickman is like and what his personality is like. And so, really, once you've done all three of these things, done your character rotations, your character expressions, and then your character poses, you should have a really good feeling not only your character's personality but their their physical attributes and a lot of other things about them it, it just makes it so that you are a much more familiar with them and you'll be much better equipped to actually animate them okay so i've gone through and shown you how you can create your own character sheets much like this character sheet that i've created for my character stickman and uh we talked about how important it is that you have the right mindset and that is that when you're drawing characters for animation, you're not drawing lines or 2D shapes. You know, you're actually drawing 3D objects with mass and volume. And it's very important that you actually grasp that concept and adopt it as your own. When you, whenever you're drawing anything for your animations, you keep that in mind. It's an actual 3D object. It is not just a 2D set of lines. Then we went through the three different sections of a character sheet. The first being the character rotations, second being the character heads and expressions, and the third being the character poses. Now, I'll admit, there is one major flaw with this process, and that is, uh, if you don't use it, it's, uh, it's never going to help you. You have to actually utilize this method and create char your character sheet for your characters before you start animating. If you don't do this, just watching this video is not going to magically make your animations any better. You have to actually utilize what I show you. But the good news is it's really not that hard and it's actually quite enjoyable. If you don't enjoy drawing your characters, then you have no business in animation because 
in order to create an animation you're going to have to draw them a lot so not only should this be easy for you but it should also be quite enjoyable and it shouldn't take that much time these don't have to be perfect really you just need to do them even if it sucks doing something is better than doing nothing so don't worry about it being perfect uh, just create something you can always come back and modify it later I do that all the times as I animate my characters and I decide to change things on them I will go through and either update the character sheet or else create a completely new one with any updated models or with the updated model or any uh, upgrades I want to add to that character and uh, over time I kind of actually fine-tune and make my characters better so I want you to actually go home and create a character sheet tonight if you uh, watched yesterday's video which was on creating the thumbnail storyboards using them to create the story for your animation uh, you should create a character sheet for the character that is in the story that you created that's about it for today's video just go home or you're probably already at home but I want you to actually create a character sheet so this video ends go ahead and create your uh, start creating your character sheets and I will see you in tomorrow's video where we're going to be talking about creating the layout for your animation.